Hi, I'm Fred Andersky with Bendix. Congratulations on adding a critical Bendix active safety technology to your IC bus. You're taking the next step to helping keep our highways safer for everyone who shares the road. This video will help you better understand the alerts and interventions you may hear, see, and feel when driving your IC bus equipped with the optional Bendix Wingman Fusion, Collision Mitigation Technology, and standard Bendix ESP Full Stability Technology. Keep in mind that these are driver assistance technologies. Your safe driving and safe driving habits are essential to ensuring safety. You are in control of the vehicle at all times, and your goal is not to have the system intervene. It's there to back you up. Let's start with full stability, Bendix ESP. Bendix ESP uses additional sensors built into the anti-lock braking system, or ABS, to help you mitigate rollover and loss of control situations. ESP monitors your intended speed and direction, along with the actual speed and direction of your bus. When these aren't in alignment, and depending on the severity of the situation, Bendix ESP may intervene by reducing throttle and, if necessary, selectively applying the brakes to help you maintain control on a slick surface. Keep in mind, however, that stability control has limits. It is possible to go into a situation with too much speed. While the system will intervene, the laws of physics may take over and you may still roll over or lose control. Again, drive normally and drive safely. Now let's talk about the collision mitigation technology on your IC bus, Bendix Wingman Fusion. Fusion integrates a camera mounted on your windshield and a radar mounted in the center of the bumper. Together, these two sensors deliver information into the system to provide you with alerts and interventions to help you avoid rear end and sideswipe collisions. On your IC bus, you will receive audible and visual alerts through the Bendix Driver Interface Unit, or DIU. Let's experience some of the situations that Fusion can help you possibly avoid. We'll begin with active cruise with braking. The system is available when you engage your cruise control and set your speed. Bendix Wingman Fusion will help you maintain a set following distance behind the forward vehicle. Typically, this following distance will be 2.8 seconds or 3.5 seconds. The system will do this by matching your speed with the forward vehicle or by maintaining your cruise control set speed if it is lower. If the forward vehicle starts to slow down and you don't respond, Fusion will intervene by reducing throttle engaging the engine retarder, or applying the brakes to help you maintain the gap. Should a vehicle cut in front and accelerate away, the system does not view it as a threat, so it maintains your speed. However, if a vehicle cuts in front of your bus and slows, such as when attempting to make an exit ramp or an abrupt turn, the system will alert and respond as noted earlier, helping you avoid a potential rear-end collision. Next, following distance alerts, or FDAs, the first line of defense to help you avoid rear-end collisions. These alerts occur whether you are in cruise control or not, and let you know when the gap between your bus and the forward vehicle is closing. At 37 miles per hour or above, depending on the FDA strategy used, you will typically get two or three alerts, a close, closer, and finally closest alert. Below 37 miles per hour, you typically get one or two alerts, the closer and closest alert. Here's what happens on the road. On the DIU, you can see the gap measured in seconds to impact between your bus and the forward vehicle closing. Of course, don't be distracted by staring at the DIU. Keep your attention on what's happening in front of you. Here's the first or the close alert. The gap continues closing, and the second alert, the closer alert, is delivered. You're getting pretty close now, so the third or closest following distance alert is given. You can eliminate these alerts by slowing to increase the gap between your bus and the forward vehicle. However, should the situation change and the system determines a collision is likely, you will receive an impact alert a half second before the system cuts throttle 
and applies the brakes to help you avoid or lessen the impact of a potential rear end collision. Keep in mind that you are always in control of the bus and you can add more braking or you can steer to help avoid the potential collision. Another alert to give you a heads up to help avoid a collision is the stationary object alert. When a metallic object of size is in your lane of travel, Bendix Wingman Fusion will alert you up to three seconds before impact, enabling you to slow or maneuver to avoid the object. Because Wingman Fusion uses a camera, you get alerts otherwise not available on radar-only systems. One alert is lane departure warning. The Fusion camera reads the lines on the road, and if you drift out of your lane by six inches left or right, audible and visual alerts are delivered. These alerts may help you avoid a sideswipe crash with a vehicle in the other lane. If you signal the lane change by using your turn signal, the alert is suppressed. If the lines in the road are unclear, such as in work zones, you can deactivate the alert by pressing this button. Lane departure warning is then suppressed for 15 minutes or until you press the button again. One note. Always check your mirrors before making a lane change to ensure the lane you are entering is clear. The camera can also read speed limit signs, delivering an overspeed or excessive speed alert. If traveling five miles per hour over the posted speed limit, Fusion provides an audible and visual alert. Exceed the posted speed by 10 miles per hour or more, the system will deliver an audible and visual alert along with a haptic alert, a one second throttle reduction. Keep in mind that Fusion does not apply the brakes or try to lower your speed to match the posted speed limit. That's your job. Finally, a stationary vehicle in your lane of travel can be dangerous and even deadly. Wingman Fusion can help you avoid these situations by providing alerts and braking. If the radar detects a metallic object in front of you and the camera verifies it as a vehicle, the system will deliver an audible and visual alert and then will provide braking. You can add additional braking or depending on traffic conditions, steer the bus to help avoid the collision. If Fusion cannot identify the forward object as a vehicle, the system will provide only a stationary object alert, which you will need to respond to in order to mitigate the collision situation. For optimal system performance, work with your maintenance team to ensure your tires and brakes are in good operating condition. Here's a couple of things to keep in mind. If the anti-lock braking system light is on, meaning ABS is faulted, you will still have braking, but you will not have ABS, stability control, or collision mitigation available. Have the ABS repaired as soon as possible preferably before going out on the road. If the stability system light is on, meaning stability control is faulted, you will still have ABS, but you will not have collision mitigation braking or stability control. Have stability control repaired as soon as possible, again, preferably before going out on the road. Should you receive a collision mitigation system fault on the road, pull over to a safe area. Then, Check the radar and camera for anything that may be blocking them, such as dirt, mud, snow, or ice. Remove any obstruction, making sure both the radar and the windshield are clean. The fault should go away. If it doesn't, seek repair as soon as possible. Always remember, you remain in control of your bus at all times. The systems we just covered are driver assistance technologies, not driver replacement technologies. Your safe driving, safe driving habit, and ongoing training is critical to ensuring safety on the road. For additional details, please reference your operator's manual and the Wingman Fusion Quick Reference Guide, or visit Bendix.com for additional information.